it is true mathematics, arithmetic, as well as geometry, as well as purely theoretical music without instruments and voices were, were given from generation to ge generation of monks and nuns and professors and teachers. The, the Greek knowledge didn't die. The Greek knowledge just was never applied anymore. And only the troubadours and the singers and in the high middle ages tried somehow to recover their body and mind from Christian and other terrorisms. Muslim terrorism, for instance, and not to forget the third one. And so architecture and mechanics were, were given from generation to generation and, and produced cathedrals and so on. And it, wasn't, it wasn't a lost time. No time is lost in the history of being. Every time it has its honor and its glory and its sadness. But music was a free science since the Pythagorean theorem I wrote on this whiteboard. Painting and sculpture were not regarded as anymore as, as free as free arts. They were considered as dull, handicraft, and this was sc scandal on to some early Renaissance main, a teacher and a pupil. The teacher was a great uh, artisan coming out from goldsmith, uh, from a goldsmith guild, and the, and the pupil was from noble descent, but illegal. He was a bastard and not a um, matrimonial child, and he had these problems with his father and this unnoble prostitute as a mother. And the first one was named Filippo Brunelleschi, and the second one was named Gian Battista Alberti, and he switched to the new name Leon Battista Alberti, the, Alberti the Lion. And Brunelleschi, before he perfected the cupola on uh, the cathedral Santa Maria del Fiore in Florence, uh, tried to become famous not as a traditional painter and sculptor, but as a mathematician, and he disappeared for 10 years into private mathematical school. And then he came up in, 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 in 1420 about, he had a new concept of painting, a revolution and a new concept of painting. Painting should represent a subject's representation of the world. Can you imagine? I, this is my place at this very moment. This is Mr. Speck's place. This is your place. Everybody of us sees the world from another angel in this room. We are positioned as subjects in this room by angles and distances and to make a long short, short story short by geometrical relations. We are also determined by photonic relations, but this would be a question with CERN in Geneva and not with, uh, with Brunelleschi and Alberti. And so Alberti probably <coughs> um, put a little, Alberti positioned himself in the main portal of Santa Maria del Fiore in Florence, and he, and, and, this is important, this is Alberti's body, and this is the baptistry of Florence, an octagonal structure, where every young child, child in Florence had, had, had been baptized, San Giovanni, and this open portal, Brunelleschi, uh, was hiding with this dark uh, stuff, some text, some text. And he made only one little hole, hole. and behind himself he positioned uh, an empty, uh, an empty paintings, a uh, pa painter's ground. And then, 
Sun. Sun and, and, and her rays uh, touched the surfaces of San Giovanni. And San Giovanni reflects the sun's light and only those rays which pass this hole could transduce themselves on the, as light on the, in this dark little space Albert Bonelleski had constructed himself. And Alberti was facing this, this image, this camera obscura image of, 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 of San Giovanni and not San Giovanni. And then, it's a long story and I might make it short, this was the first perspective tableau <coughs> painting in the history of painting. And Alberti generalized this uh, practical approach to linear perspective by <coughs> applying geometrical and Euclidean laws uh, to make not only uh, paintings from existing architecture, but also to make paintings from imaginary future architecture or, so, or environments. In order to paint uh, Jesus Christ, you couldn't, you couldn't believe your eyes. You had to make up perspective landscapes and buildings because nobody saw it. And so painting uh, ceased to be uh, as mechanical, a mechanical art and turned following the medieval model of music into a free art, an art where geniuses and Famous names were for the first time allowed. We don't know who painted when, some medieval icon, for instance. And the same holds true for music. Simon Staving, Staving who was the military counselor of Moritz von Oran, <coughs> did the same mathematization, algebraization which Alberti had done for painting, and from this very time, that is for structurally from the end of the 16th century on, music and painting, the two romantic arts, as Hegel would have to call them, became free from Greek, Greek predefined physics and poets and, and techne, they became modern, modern forms organized by orchestras instead of singing voices and just one solo guitar. Orchestras and symphonies became <coughs> possible thanks to Simon Staving, Staving's real number system introduced. He introduced the real number system. He said every half tone before, before Simon David, every half tone deferred from another half tone, given the Pythagorean natural definition of musical interval. And Simon David, inventing pure tuning, said any half, half tone from C to C sharp, from C sharp to D, from D to D sharp, from D sharp to E, from E to F, from F to F sharp, from F, to, from F sharp to G, and so on and so on, is defined mathematically to be higher than its predecessor by this irrational quantity, the 12th root out of 2. Every, every man and woman building a modern synthesizer, as I did for five years, knows by heart that the 12th root out of 2 is, is a tiny amount, but approximately And this is so hungry, and this was so revolutionary for painting. Thank you. And as it was for, you know, for, for musicians and building of, 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 of keyboards and pianos and, and all this. 